The backpack represents the cell. The first step of protein synthesis is transcription. Transcription occurs in the nucleus. This binder represents the nucleus. First step of transcription is the unzipping of DNA. Braden's thumbs represent the DNA helicase, which breaks the hydrogen bonds, which are represented by the rings of the binder. The pages are the bases within the DNA. The ringlets on the left side of the binder would represent the RNA polymerase, as it is a point at which the RNA strands are attaching with the DNA strands. The second step of transcription is complementary base pairing. RNA nucleotides, which are represented by the new pages on the left, bind with DNA nucleotides, which are the pages on the right. We have shown three RNA bases pairing together with the DNA basis. This will have made an amino acid. Our start codon will be read as AUG, and this process will occur another 15 times in the nucleus. Then a stop codon will be read, which means a strand of mRNA or messenger RNA has been produced. The third and final step of transcription is the joining of adjacent nucleotides. The phosphate from one nucleotide bonds with the sugar of the next, making a single-stranded mRNA chain and creating the backbone of the new daughter strand. This clear cover inside of a new binder represents the ribosomes. The pencils represent the ribosomal RNA, and the paper represents that messenger RNA which was produced in transcription. In the first step of translation, initiation occurs. mRNA attaches with rRNA. Um, the second step of translation is called elongation. The tRNA anticodon, which is represented by the white holes, bonds to the mRNA codon by complementary base pairing at the ribosome. The mRNA codons determine the type of amino acid brought to the polypeptide chain. The polypeptide chain lengthens by one amino acid at a time. Two tRNAs can be at a ribosome at one time. The anticodons are paired to the codons. The white circles represent the tRNA, and the clear plastic represents the ribosomes. The amino acid on the incoming tRNA forms a peptide bond with the amino acid on the outgoing tRNA. The ribosome, which is represented by the clear cover, moves laterally, allowing the outgoing tRNA to leave and the allowing space for the new incoming tRNA. The third step of translation and final step of protein synthesis is termination. The amino acid chain lengthened until a stop codon was read. The polypeptide chain is complete. The tRNA and polypeptide leave the ribosome. The proteins get transported from the ribosomes to the rough endoplasmic reticulum, which is represented by the new pocket in my backpack. In the rough endoplasmic reticulum, the proteins are modified. The rough ER transfers protein to the Goji bodies, where it is packaged into vesicles and shipped off. I can say non me on the This plastic bag represents the vesicles which transports proteins out of the cell. Hey, Jawanda, that's protein synthesis, bud. This project was done by Brayden, Austin, Keenan. Okay.